Okay, for this video, we're going to focus on importing data into SAS Studio. And this can include data that are not SAS data. They could be Excel data or Stata data or SPSS data files. So we're running SAS Studio. Um, you have to be logged into your SAS On Demand for Academics account. And uh, when you open it up, you'll get something like this. And I'm going to send this to the trash can here. Let's see if I can delete this so that I can re-upload it. All right. Now, within this SAS Studio window, it initially looks a little different than what a typical SAS user may be used to. Um, but that's okay. So when we're interested in importing data, we can click on Import Data. But in this case, um, we don't have really data already in the SAS Studio system or in the, our SAS program right here yet. So what we have to first do is upload files or upload, um, you could upload a set of, of Stata files, but in this case, uh, I'm interested in uploading uh, a, a Stata file here. So this is our eSig uh, data set. So we're going to go ahead and upload that now and it's went ahead and pretty much brought it in here. Now the next step would be either to click on it as import data but I think we can even double click on it and by doing that it's already decided that we want to import it. Now it's got options and default by file extension so it already knows that it's a state of file I don't have to click on that and it's got the entire command or um, kind of program this is essentially a program telling SAS how to open it and within SAS um, nothing really uh, runs until you know I guess they could have made it to where it would automatically have ran but um, it doesn't. There's this little running man here and by clicking on run the running man or I guess F3 it will run this program. So I clicked on it and it's ran the program and now it's got this SAS output. Now people who are SAS users would have rec recognized that, that, um, that code that went in there and then we've got now our our log and I don't see any like you know red text so that's a good thing um, so everything uh, for our log or our results looks like it's all there I can see the list of variables and uh, it knows that that one's a rank variable so it's got all of our data I can click on output data and we can see all of our our data right here so this is actually uh, friendlier um, from, for a naive or a new user uh, than, than what some people may have been used to if they've ever used SAS before. So that's all for now. So this should be able to work with all different data types. So here, this is a Stata file. So I'm gonna stop this video here and we're gonna start to actually uh, use this uh, data in some sort of way here in the next few videos.